Welcome to the Religiously Offensive Podcast. On a Friday. And, and just drop some, some heat. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a while. Thanks to our buddy Taylor. He kind of pushed us into doing another one of these. Shout out, Taylor. Keep flying them planes, bro. <laughs> I turned it down. <laughs> there it is. That was for you. Um, man, it feels like it's been a long time. It's been at least two weeks. And so happy to be back. There's a thing. There's a thing I wanted to talk about that I sent you guys. And just to open this up a little bit, right? First of all, how are those uh, Cantina grapefruit Palomas? They're pretty good. Refreshing. Refreshing? Yeah. Sweet. Luke, how's your how's your drink? Oh, both of those are Gabby's. Never mind. Yeah, mine's mm. a tall, nice glass of water. I'm toasty. A good old glass of wet. Could you, you know give us I'm a saying? review Don't on that? Never say that again. It's like lemonade. <laughs> except how, yeah, good how old wet glass is that water? Without, <laughs> that's a fair question. I guess it's is, relative. Is it depends. It? Is water wet? No. If you're in the water, We've are you this. wet? If you're in the water, are you wet? Right. Yeah. That's, that's the question. That's the, the people one. don't want to hear this shit again. Oh, I think they do. All right. Here's the thing. I sent this to you guys. This is reasons for admission to an insane asylum. When did you send this <laughs> yeah, to us? When, I didn't get this, this. is just, okay. So a men, not an insane. They call it an insane asylum, but it's mental asylum in the 1800s. I sent this to you guys. The when? I don't know. Sometime. I like sending you guys things. Did any of us respond? To Apparently, it? we no. But you never do. So thing. I just figure you. <laughs> I'm yeah. I got nothing. Yeah, I, don't I just know figure you just text about. thread everything yeah, yeah. I send you. I figure you just read it, read, laugh, and just don't respond. No, that's right. That's exactly <laughs> what we do. Uh, no, I read. It's opposite. I read and I don't laugh and I don't <laughs> respond. <laughs> but you do read sinister. <laughs> anytime, anytime they are funny, I I'm, I I I tell you, I'm like, yeah, that one was funny. Good job, JJ. That's tough. Man, I haven't heard that in a while. That's <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, which is probably why she didn't remember this text. <laughs> Yikes. Classic. But it's funny. It is funny. It's a funny list. It's okay. I'll read the title again. The list of reasons for admission to a mental asylum in the 1800s. Not the things you would think. Um, Intemperance and business trouble. Mm. Just as we go through these, just think of how many apply to you. What's intemperance? So like you get a temper at work? I don't know. Business trouble. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, kicked in the head by a horse. Oh, I could see that. And you, oh, it t- in turn makes you. I don't know. I guess. Okay. Right. Well, tardy. Does no, that mean that it. like you just get kicked in the head and then automatically that just means oh you should go here? Uh, sounds like you probably at the very least get checked out. But not that they have adequate. Yeah, maybe some of these are more it. severe than others. You think? Yeah. Hereditary predisposition. I don't even know what that is. Um, ill treatment by husband. You see that. Yeah. Imaginary female trouble. <laughs> what? Imaginary female Wait, trouble? is that for women or for men? Is, uh, yeah. like, if you I have like fake lady both. problems? Maybe. If you're imaginary. Imaginary female upset, trouble. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. yeah. It's like you, you think like you have a wife that's not there or something, you think? Mm-hmm. That's odd. Or do you These think it means vague. like, yeah, it, or do you think it means like, well, I'm glad they're vague because then it gives us something to talk about. How many people are they throwing into these institutions? Probably Everyone. half the population. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of employees and food and resources. Employees? Did they have employees back then or was it more like apprentices and if helpers? You just put all of these Slaves. people into one building and you're just like, just hang out. Yeah. It can't end well. I yeah. just like send them into the forest, like let them become like children. But we the still, you know, we still have asylums, right, though? I mean, we still have these things. We should totally go Hunger Games style. Yeah, here we Just go. Just send people <laughs> off like it's like you've been exiled. Yeah, whoever survives, we'll give you $2 million. Oh, that's different. Whatever. No, I'd be crazy. Yeah. Like, see, literally people that are just have no hope in life, they're going to be stunned, you know, whatever. Or we'll give you $2 million and release you. 
<laughs> you can't do too much damage with two million dollars in a chest full of medieval. I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <weapons>. no. <laughs> you have to like this is like a hundred people, right? And they all fight to the death. So really, ultimately, there's like a hundred people, or they could choose to get along in peace. <laughs> Split the pot. That would be crazy, but that's not the rules. Think, Someone's got to die. Got like, but are we like are we like videotaping and watching? I'm thinking more or less just like go, just go. You said Hunger Games style. Now you're walking it back. Well, I'm saying like Hunger Games style. Exile people Hunger Games style but don't like watch it. There's only like one survivor. There can only be one survivor. Okay, mm-hmm. and then the other part of that is literally everyone watches. That's that's, that's just the way it is. All right, maybe Hunger Games wasn't the best analogy but I actually actually if every church sent like their craziest person as tribute <laughs> <laughs> i like that idea so anyway, dumb. i know <laughs> hysteria immoral life <laughs> Im- imprisonment jealousy and religion laziness marriage of son that's like marrying your child i no marriage of son i think that just means like your son got married and now you're upset they're not with you anymore that doesn't sound right that's like, you know, depression. It's like a, you know, I think a lot of moms and dads probably go through that, you know? I think everyone goes through depression. It's the 1800s, Gabby. They don't even know what depression oh, is. Then they were all really depressed. Probably. Boy, probably. very sad. Boy, what? what? Where did that come from? Boy, depressed. Oy, very sad. Very That's sad. Everyone in the, 1800s, in the 1800s for sure very said sad. boy. Oi. Oi. <laughs> That's confirmed. I don't know. And probably cunt too. Okay. Wow. Hot take. Just, You're not just through this not wrong. Going in there. Potential. I don't know. I know it's big in the uh, for a lot of Australia. people. That's not as bad as the F word. I don't know. It's super popular in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. It's the thing. It's an endearing term mm. in a lot of things. Okay. Like you call your friends that, right? Mm. That's what you're saying. Who? Who calls in Australia? Her? In Australia. Like, oh, I cunt. Like cultural it's thing. It's like your, JJ, your watch best the fuck friend. You're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> Z, I, mean, I used to follow this dude. You give me a word you want to be called then. <laughs> and my name would be a good start. Yeah, the word. <laughs> my name. It is funny Gee. that we just kind of made that word like I know the worst word. Yeah. Right. Culture is funny. Yeah. It is funny because there are other things that mean the same thing. We could have chosen, but we didn't. Mm-hmm. Like what? I mean, we could, well, what, Not I mean, news, yeah. what is the definition for real? Cause I know it's like, does it mean the same thing as vagina? It just means a woman's, I don't think a genitals. woman's genitals. I don't think that's collectively. what it means in Australia. That's though. why I didn't say clit because that's a specific part. So cunt is <laughs> like your, it's the whole shebang. your whole situation. What is that? It's just type a, in I what it like means in Australia. Aggressive. I don't know what it means in Australia. Well, I got to go to Urban Dictionary for this one. <laughs> Google Is that cut? Google had one of these recommended uh, recommended uh, questions. It says, what is the baddest word in the world? <laughs> it says moist. <laughs> <laughs> that would make people the most despised. uncomfortable. So, yeah, but we all love moist things. That's what people like. Okay, so There's this says disconnect. the original language word for vagina. Yeah. Um, how did the Aust- yeah, man, Australians what, are twisted? They really are upside down. Yeah. See, and then the third, the third definition of this is a mate or random person, which is a mate that's is Australia. a friend. Yeah, that's Australia. So it's like yeah. it's it is funny. We live in America. This one's for the Aussies. Well, you know what? You will say like, "Hey, f face," you know, to your friends sometimes, like depending on who they are, or depending sure. who the friends are. Mm-hmm. So I get it. Well, that was a cool little thing. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there's a wild conspiracy theory. You ready for this? You ready for this next one? Uh, what next one? This one, this next one on the list. This is a long list. I don't even know what you guys have been talking about with that list. The the reasons (laughs) for admission to a mental asylum in the 1800s. Oh, that's what you were saying the whole time. The reasons people. Yeah, that's all these reasons. Yeah. So the last one I read, just to come back, was get this from Marriage of Son. Reddit. How does Reddit know? It's a. It's like an old list. Like a. It's just a picture. They wrote it from the 1800s. I mean, this is this is clearly like typed out, but in like a weird looking eighteen hundreds way. <clears throat> totally legit. But it is <laughs> it is. It it's, is. Dude, this it's is gotta a, be this like, is a fact. I don't know. I feel like you don't make up stuff. Oh god. Like, yeah. 
it, like intemperance and business trouble. Like if someone was to make up a funny you list, you wouldn't start with that one. You what? know what I mean? Like I don't know. JJ, if you found that on or would Facebook, you throw you off the scent instead of Reddit, would it still have the same? Mm. No, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I'd be like fake news. Reddit is fake. <laughs> Reddit's for the real ones. Yeah, that's fair. That's funny. That's funny. The next one is uh, masturbation and syphilis. <laughs> oh, like at the same time. Like you have syphilis and you're masturbating. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't how recommend do doing syphilis? those two yep. things at the same time. I'd, probably uh, it's an STD. Oh, well, I, I know it's an STD, but how do you get it? Like from sex. Well, from, I know from, <laughs> <laughs> from the S part. I know, but like, I guess I don't understand the like, transmission what of bodily that fluids. That STD versus. A different STD. oh yeah it's just well, a bacterial it's just, infection yeah. it's just mm-hmm. like you know the flu versus the cold it's just another thing people transmit it's just different it just it i'm not gonna ask you more questions would you like we can google it you just do the nasty with the wrong person No, because if i google it i feel like some weird photos are gonna come yeah up. can you just go to google images and before you google it <laughs> um i feel like maybe that's like you have syphilis so no one wants to you know, befriend you. And so you're just forced to masturbate all the time. It is. There's much stranger ones on here. Uh, <laughs> masturbation for 30 years. I'm sorry. Yeah. There's that's, just, that's a thing. No way this list. <laughs> Someone's just trolling Reddit. people. Just like, I don't, I don't think so. The guy who made this list is dying laughing at you. Right yeah. Now. He's like, wow, somebody really did fall for that shit. Oh, that dude doesn't listen to this. Um, <laughs> reasons people, I'm going to look at it. At what? Sorry. I'm just, I'm just, I got to look at this. At syphilis? Hold on. Um, no, I'm going to, gosh dang it. All right. Why did people go to the mental asylum in the 1800s? Reasons for admission. Vintage.es. 125 reasons you could end up in a lunatic asylum. This is the same list. Yeah, this is like a legit source. I'm not even kidding. This is not like a satire. I still don't believe it. Dude, I, but think about 200 years ago, how different culture was. It just shows you how different culture was, right? Well, if it's real. Mm-hmm. Gosh dang it, Luke. <laughs> All right. Yeah, under the assertion that <laughs> it I'm is a, real. I'm going to keep this looking. This totally random post I'm, you found. I'm right there with you. Don't well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I think about like the world we live in today and the corruption that we see. Imagine 200 years ago when there's no internet, cameras, accountability. Like people were probably just tossing people. I mean, like, you ever seen the Count of Monte Cristo? Yeah. The movie? Fernand Mondego, that mm-hmm. snake. Mm-hmm. Edmund Dantes. It's like a legendary. Wrongly dude, imprisoned. This is this is real. Like, dude, I mean, this is a freaking <laughs> news.com.au. Like, that's a legit source. <clears throat> like I'm not okay screw you guys if you don't want to believe <laughs> hashtag believe it's like Santa <laughs> Claus shout out Ted Lasso <laughs> you ever watch Ted Lasso I actually haven't I do like Jason it's, Sudeikis though and it's a really feel good show so if you just yeah. if you wholesome yeah so if you like watch some like really trashy thing that just got your head in a bad place and then you watch that it's a 30 minute episode so it's not that long it makes you feel good I mean some episodes are downers but <laughs> I can't. Guys, guys, this guy strike while they. I have to. Th- this, I mean, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna declare this is real because you guys are just the biggest doubters I've ever heard. <clears throat> it's reasonably doubting. Okay, <laughs> Me- medicine to prevent conception. Whoa. Menstrual deranged, mental excitement, novel reading, nymphomania, opium habit. Overaction of the mind. Oh, I'm there. Nymphomania does kind of add up, though. That one, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Um, overstudy of religion. Bring it back. <laughs> Bring well, I just came full circle. <laughs> yeah. Um, over, yeah, overaction of the mind. Overtaxing mental powers. <laughs> parents were <laughs> parents were cousins. <laughs> I love that. So Peri- as a the child periodic fits. I don't Cause know. Because your parents were cousins. Par- <laughs> yeah. Think about it. Think of all your that like mental stuff you gotta deal with. Political excitement, politics, religious enthusiasm, fever and loss of lawsuit. <laughs> fits and desertion of husband. 
asthma, bad company, bad habits, and political excitement, bad whiskey. I get down with that. There's just no way this is true. Unforgivable. Bloody flux. I don't understand why we're still reading these. Because there's so many. They would throw people in a <laughs> mental asylum for bad habits. Yeah, depending on your habits. I'm out. I thought this is what reasons people check themselves in. It's they they were brought well in. reasons for admission. So they could be checked in, or like they can probably be brought in by someone. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, then I bet they're all the same today. If if you're psycho, you'll check yourself in for whatever you want. I guess. Yeah, but the funny thing is, they like documented and like. Apparently, especially <laughs> it's like, like a real like compound that you can't leave. Mm. Like who's making these people food? Well, that's the, that's fake. the other thing. <laughs> Luke, shut up. Stop <laughs> saying that. This, none of this is real. <laughs> You're an idiot. We are in the matrix. <laughs> Nothing is real. Literally. Yeah. It's a giant simulation. Uh, that's right. Uh, <laughs> this isn't real. You got to question everything. Um, so, no, I mean, this is probably like. We think of it like a nut house now. It's like people don't really like a lot of people just can't get out, right? Like so I wonder if this is more like counseling. You know what I mean? I wonder if it was like less or maybe they just gave everyone lobotomies and that if was I it. had to bet on it, I'm gonna say it's a, it was a little more uh crazy than we have now. A little more loose just bodies. Stay loose. <laughs> Stay loose. Oh, you mean just like you put all these people like Doctor Kevorkian, like is just doing just, experiments just a on bunch these of people, crazy stuff. Yeah, huh. so he's acting weird. More bloodletting. Well, the crazy you, <laughs> maybe you, that'll work. Have you seen the like another lo- stab? Have wound. you seen the lobotomy stuff? Like where they would like drill into people's head. What was that one show? Like while they're alive. Yeah, because they would they would do it yeah. to like subdue them and like make them more normal. And for most people, it like made them brain dead, and they would just be like walking zombies. <clears throat> it's insane. They just drill into their brain. There's a spot they would just drill in. They would bore a hole into their head. Yeah. What What would they use to drill? What you're talking about without having a drill. Is it like head. a crank? Yeah. Oh, oh God. Have you, you You never seen that? Like that's not a clean entry. It's just like. You've heard of a lobotomy, right? Yeah, That's what yeah. it is. They, I mean, they outlawed them. I was thinking of Princess but... Bride when he's like torturing them. Ugh. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. Ratched. You guys ever seen that on Netflix? Ratched. Ratched. Is it Ratched? Ratched. Yeah. Is it Ratched? Spelled like that? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's not Ratched. That's not Ratched. That's not Ratched the word. That's that's the last name. But that's the one where they do that. They do the lobotomies. That, that, that that's show. where I. That's where I saw it. That's where you saw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's a good show. So what do they watch? It, it is really good. So yeah. once you bore the whole, what do you? You just leave it. So yeah, you they, just like it, suck it out with a straw. No, oh, they, they just they drill the hole and that's it. It's like relieve the pressure. Like, well, no, I think I think they just take in so in so drilling they remove the part of the brain that's causing the problems. Like, so that was a good idea. show. Was really good. I, I wanted them to do another season, but that was so long ago. I probably aren't How doing it. No. Thanks. So they used to perform those in the U.S. for real. They, mm. They're no longer performed in the U.S. Yeah. Stopped in the 1950s and 60s. We need the aliens to the develop it, release all the files. Antipsychotic medications. Yeah. What's going on with all these uh, unidentified aircrafts that we're shooting down? Wow, I love that transition. Smooth. That was the other thing I saw. <laughs> Remember that thing I showed you on Reddit when we got here today? Right in the parking lot. Drug my memory. Oh, right. 4,000 gallon. Little thing. X ray. Man, my memory sucks. With the piercing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, now I'm back. It was funny because one of the comments was like, did they shoot it down? <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. Yeah. Anyway, you got, I'm sorry. I mean, the last week we shot down like three of those things. Are they all from China? I haven't they been, haven't said I haven't, they haven't been released following. any information. I have seen more stuff about UFOs. Between that and the natural disasters, like something going on. The other thing, okay, so this is and you think something yeah, pardon my on? ignorance. Uh it was I a giant do. Chinese spy balloon, and it's like we had to shoot it down with a missile. Like, can't you just it's a balloon? You can't just like boop. Well, no, that's the problem. The problem is And also, why why a balloon? That makes no sense. It's so it's like the opposite of like spy type. Like. No, because it's you, you, all kinds of deniability. Oh, it's a weather. You know what I mean? You can disguise it as a civilian aircraft and just like, oh, it just lost control. But the fact that they found multiple of them is a little sketch. I just can't. Be- I just don't believe anything anymore. 
Yeah, I don't know. But the thing is, you can't just pop it with a pin needle. But so, like, how do you get up? There? How do you get Why something not? up there with a little pin needle? You, how do you get anything up there? That's the problem because a gun doesn't won't even come close to getting that far. This is about like sixty thousand square feet, like six thousand feet above. People don't realize how high that is. Like that is very far away. We don't have planes that can go up there. They do, but only like reconnaissance aircraft. They're not like our our like jets don't go that high. Is like it a not, pressure thing? Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. like they don't. They, yeah, they just don't. So we need to build our own balloon. <laughs> Put a like a fifty caliber on that thing. The other thing. The other thing is I, I don't. They, how many of they these things not, are up there? That's the other, like who, like it could have been anything could happen, right? Like, so it, it could have been any kind of motivation, but one of them could have been just to test the U S and see what kind of anti, you know, anti ICBM system that we have or something like that. Right. Mm. A, a, you know, an air defense or space defense system, Interest. which we did not employ obviously, but you got to imagine there's some like lasers and stuff. That's I always imagine that, right? That one, why not? Like we got satellites up there. Why not just like pew pew? Yeah, like Goldeneye style. No. Yeah, I mean, I I agree, but do they really want to play that hand for a balloon? <clears throat> I flex. I don't. Well, <laughs> no, because then as soon as they play that hand, then you know the Chinese can figure out, okay, how do we get around that? That's probably why they're not showing their hand. But I agree with you. I think something like that is definitely out there. It's there's yeah. too there's too many movies there's too many movies to think that there's not great that's where I get a lot of my facts is from movies seems that's reasonable right. what was that Gabby <laughs> Hollywood would never mislead us <laughs> that yeah. sounds right that sounds right what have you been up to lately Gab same old same old yeah any new shoes <laughs> no. New shoes? Yeah, Actually, I haven't gotten a pair since the last podcast. Winning that money. Oh, she's in a ton. Yeah, you want to talk about your success with... Uh, we've the, all the, developed a minor sports gambling addiction. <laughs> I mean, since we've if last been like here. If you'd like to sign up, my referral code. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Click the link in the uh, am, comments. <laughs> yeah. Uh, QR code? Is it, they have, like, so, yeah, I have not won. I am not up. I've never been up in that, so everyone knows. I And I have not put any more money in since my second deposit. I love that, though. Restraint. Yeah. Better man than I. Not the first time. Well, I, I yeah, to be fair, I was having, like, you know, the Lincoln thing, and he was trying it and stuff, so. And he, he was done. over it. He's After done. he lost 15 in a row, he was like, this is stupid. <laughs> 15 in a row? It's tough for anyone to keep doing anything if you lose 15 yeah. in a row. And uh, he, I mean, so what is the cool that I think I've told some of you is like he, now he's buying like that prime drink, the Logan Paul drink. Oh, uh, yeah. And because it's like for some place, it's hard to find. Kids love yeah. it. Right. Love it's like it. kids way to be cool because they can't have energy drinks. They can't have caffeine and all that. So they're drinking this prime stuff. And it was like, I mean, everyone's so popular. So he'll go and buy like an eight pack if he can find it at Publix. Or we went to GNC, bought like a 12 pack yesterday. Uh-huh. He's just asking me to go to like, dad, we need to go to GNC and buy this stuff. I was like, all right. So we go to GNC, buy it. He sells it at school for five to seven dollars a bottle. I can't. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell him to start doing that? Or that no. Like- no, because that was that was organic. He's like, Dad, check this shit out. I, he's like, he's I'm the plug. He's I've, the prime plug. I've told him so many times I'm proud of him. I mean, <laughs> it's just like, I know that I, love that. I know that. You can't get in trouble for that, can you? They could make him stop yeah, doing it. Could, yeah. I, he wouldn't like get in trouble, trouble. He going to juvie and on. You know, but the school doesn't want you doing that. Like, but the thing is, though. I'm going to let it go as long as it can because it's like that's prize pick entrepreneurial. Money. Yeah. He's literally like, <laughs> like school will not teach you how to make money. Yeah. Right. They never do, which always irritated me, but he's like, he's always so learning on his own. It's something he's interested in. And I'm just like, dude, yeah. And he's dude, he was talking supply and demand is like talking what? about being able to charge more and stuff. That I was just like, hilarious. because they have access. Like, like I gave it to my homies for four. So sometimes like internet. <laughs> yeah. So, so sometimes, sometimes internet access, you know, is bad for kids. <laughs> cost. Right. Because they look up all kinds of crazy stuff. You never know what they're seeing on TikTok yeah. and whatever. But then sometimes it works in your favor where it's like, all right. So you're like looking stuff up about how to like how to price your prime. <laughs> that is hilarious. 
Oh, I love. I mean, that. it's taken off. I will say, I I got a case in my closet, yeah, in my dude. pantry, probably better word. <laughs> so great, yeah. It's like, yeah, as long as I can encourage him to keep selling legal things, <clears throat> it's good. What is it like a sports drink? Yeah, it's just a hydration yeah. beverage. Like Gatorade. Like he, it's made so with coconut water. The the backstory essentially is Logan as an influencer was uh, in camp to box Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. And there wasn't a good just like hydration beverage like on the market. Like everything was just like too much sugar, like a lot of fillers and, and it just wasn't quality. So him and his this other guy that he partnered with, that's other uh, another really big influencer came up with it. And it's like super low calorie. They put a bunch of like electrolytes in it, like coconut water. So and it and it tastes great. So it's supposed to be just like a Gatorade alternative. What's weird is it it's almost like it. It seems sweeter than Gatorade. It is very sweet. Less sugar. So I actually did because of the coconut water. What we were talking about. But they are still artificial sweeteners. Are, are there? Is there any issue with the sweeteners they use? You know. Mm, I mean, it's it's yeah. It's not going to be like your all like organic natural stuff. It's probably like a stevie or something. I don't know. I haven't looked that closely, but but you were right. Throwing a little water in there, mm. it's nice. The um, that's a little of that sweetness. The Meta Moon one is a weird flavor. That's I haven't had that. One. That's the I like the Bomb one. Pop one. It's a cool bottle. It's the coolest bottle from Meta Moon. But it's like, it's if you were to, you know, when you were a kid and you used to eat Skittles, I assume all of you have eaten Skittles. Yeah, I've been there. What are those? <laughs> Once or twice. Um, you know, you ever like put every color in your mouth and chew them at the same time? No. You guys have never done, Luke, come on. Yeah. R- red oh, and purple, me a line here. Yeah, red I've and purple all day. Yeah, so that- Orange that, sometimes, that yellow flavor, and green can go- That flavor of all at the same time is like, like what Meta Moon is, and it's kind of weird. What's the best flavor? I, I got, Red, for sure. Red and purple all red day. Red meaning what? Cherry? Red and green. Right? I don't know. Do they actually have flavors? The Are we talking yeah. about Prime, or are we talking about Skittles. more- fi- uh, Oh, Skittles. Okay, yeah. I think cherry's the worst. Whoa. Yeah. All right, here. How about this? Regular Skittles or sour? You probably like yellow then, you fucking psychopath. I I like the sour <laughs> ones. Let's turn it to I like sour. sour Skittles were like <laughs> the bomb. What I grew up on. But uh, what Warheads. About like if you want a sour candy, Warheads. Okay, I literally Starburst. I haven't had Starburst in probably six months, and someone gave me a, you know one of those little two packs, red and pink, all day yesterday. See, I disagree. I went and took Lincoln to youth group. What do you do? What? I'm an orange yellow guy. <laughs> Red is the worst. I was literally it's about to worst. tell you. I was literally about to tell you. Going. He hands me one of these and I open it and it's orange and yellow. And I'm like, the worst two flavors no way. together in a pack. And you're t- I should have saved it for you. You are the ying tar pink, yang, though. That's perfect. Because you there. can have my yellow what and orange and I'll take your red and pink. Is it pink, red, yellow, orange? Is that it? OG star. OG star. Yeah, there's no green or anything. Might be. So. I can't think of another one. Yeah, red's for you sure. You know what, though? Fourth. Then they started coming out with the Valentine's <laughs> ones that were pink and red. Bomb. Never. Those are the best two flavors. Yeah, sure. pink and red all day. And then red, purple for Skittles. Heavens no. I uh, Skittles, I liked the sour green Give me ones. my antioxidants. You're the ones that you would you would get like the tropical flavored stuff, huh? Nah, it's like the classic. Just antioxidants. The, the, There's no antioxidants in Skittles. What are you talking about? Yeah, but they're like talking about like the red berries and the brown purple berries and like that's uh, like blueberries and how many and antioxidants do you think in made it a into a candy Skittle? Yeah, I'm just zero. I'm just saying hypothetically, like the jump in my no, mind. Yeah, <laughs> they got you. They got you. So I like I like my berries. I don't like lemons and oranges as much. Oh, see, mm-hmm. I'm different. Well, strawberry. Are we still talking about Skittles? Strawberry over cherry. 10 out of 10 times. Uh, um, it depends on what me, it is. I like both. I do so, like yeah. both. Blue raspberry is, is, nah, is like top a of good the, cherry. That doesn't shock me. Uh, about with you. the pit in it that you got to chew and no, spit out. See, that's different. Different. I'm very passionate about this. That's Wait, a cherry. The ones with the pit in it <laughs> that, is not right. <laughs> what the cherries are you talking about? Cherries. See, I, oh, like the little red ones that you put in your ice cream? I don't like Also great. No, those are the worst. You can't pop them though. What? Those are like, I'd rather have the natural ones with the pit. I'll yeah, tell you, you what, I can't, I can't just eat those, but if it's sitting on top of a glob of whipped cream, I'll definitely do that. Never. Yeah, with Dude, little it's ice medicine. Cream. No. Because that's but like, that's like put, old school Sunday. That's cherry cordial. You put a cherry, cherry in your whiskey sour and you pour a little bit of the maraschino juice in, in there. Bro. I can see that. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got me that. That's you basically like I'm a interested. flavored simple syrup. Mm-hmm. I'm out. Yeah. Grenadine. Is that not grenadine? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Grenadine yeah. is like 
It's like straight sugar for the most part. <sighs> little Roy Rogers. That cherry is like one of my worst, least liked flavors on planet Earth. One of your worst, least but liked you like flavors. The pitted wow. cherries, but the real cherries are good. Okay, interesting. So, what do you? Um, what Who's about? If we're talking about candy, what about Airheads? Uh, mm. They were blue. middle of the pot. The blue one. No, two out of Dude, ten. Dude, the white Strawberry. mystery one was awesome. Yeah, Agreed. I love that one. I just don't like I don't the don't how like chewy they are. Oh, never, I see. It is a unique texture. It's stuck in your teeth. I would never stuff. like laffy taffy. I would have one Same if it just like me. fell on me, but I wouldn't. I, wouldn't I was also always more of a chocolate. Guy. How many times has an airhead fallen on you? <laughs> how much time you got? How much time? <laughs> what were those? Uh, about it every time. Sour Patch Kids are for sure the best candy I've ever had. Mm. I can, uh, I can get top five, up. but. I don't know about top God. five. Wait, what are those uh, gushers? Are definitely in top mm. five. Gushers, mm. yeah, they're nostalgic. Sour mm-hmm. Patch Kids are, yeah, unbeatable for me. The bad thing about the gushers, you always have those like little small little packets, and there's only like five in them, and they stick to each other. Yeah, and they stick to <laughs> each other. the whole thing right Should've in. Talked about this while Hall- during Halloween. Um, <laughs> what what's the what about candy bar? No, ah, yeah. mm. uh, Butterfinger was my jam growing nah. up. Nah. I like Snickers. Snickers but, over but they have to like be in the fridge. You still like them? Wow. Oh yeah. Or Reese's. They're so good. <laughs> Kit Kats are fire. I don't eat candy as much anymore. Just what generally, is the best unless it's one? right in front question. of me. <sighs> Snickers. You're cold. Best one. Gabby's I'm taking Butterfingers. If I only got one, wow. they're just so messy. They crumble everywhere. Yeah. I agree, though. Butterfingers. You throw that really? in a blizzard, I, like a Butterfinger I was just blizzard. About to say that though, with, uh, with a little different. banana. You do a, a Butterfinger. <laughs> yeah, you really got to add the extra. Yeah. Guys, topping. we really do need to do that s'mores thing that I did that you saw on Instagram. The that we oh did. the dip. <laughs> it's so the freaking dip. good. Like good. I didn't even know. And before that, I didn't know they made marshmallows with chocolate inside of them. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's just baller, period. And then you line that in the Ooh. bottom. Let me go through here. So you line it in the bottom with the marshmallows that have the chocolate about inside like a, of them. Just like a pot. Yeah. Heart-shaped pot for Valentine's Day. That's so, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's something what we, everyone that's has what we in did. There. Yeah, so go buy a heart-shaped pot because it won't work with any other pot. Right. So right. you line the Naturally. bottle with marshmallows, and then you put like the... Uh, Reese cups mm. line the rest of it in the second layer, if you will, with Reese cups. And that's I all like you Reese do. Cups. You throw it in the oven, let it heat up to where like the Reese cups pool on top of the marshmallows. Right. You there? I'm there. Mm-hmm. And then you take graham crackers. Yeah. And that's dip my them. jam. You just dip them in. Oh, wow. It's, it's life changing. Now this might shock you, huh. but I'm not a chocolate lover. Next topic. I Let's I don't just stop hate talking it. about this. I don't um, hate it. Yeah, but I would never make that. I would eat it if you brought it in, though. I think it's worse than you hating it, actually. Yeah. No, I mean it's just it is what it is. I had to say it. I was the kid growing up where if we went and did s'mores, I would or s'mores, I would just do <laughs> Brooke Lopez. <laughs> I would just do marshmallows and graham crackers. Oh, I see. Yeah, I was. Gabby's getting a little pee pee anger out. <clears throat> I was a I was a chocolate guy over like the hard candies, but. As I've aged, I'm more salty than sweet now. Oh, I don't really sure. do sweet tooth. I like, yeah, for sure. Like I'm, a good salty. I've been like that forever. You're the guy that keeps the planners by his couch, right? That was like keeping peanuts, <laughs> yeah, like grandpa, <laughs> bro. <laughs> tell me you don't love like going to Five Guys and just sitting there waiting for your food and just busting open those peanuts and just popping them like nonstop. Like, wow, I feel the if, passion. If I've got them, if I've got them, yeah, that's that. It, they're, yeah, I'll eat them for Back sure. Back when uh, Lucky's, so Lucky, before they shut down Lucky's, uh, that's that was our spot. Yeah, it was, it was heartbreaking. Oh, yeah, Lucky's yeah. is great. But they would sell like the big bags of peanuts and you'd have to like break them open yourself, like, like ballpark style. And I dude, we would crush those. They were so good. Would you throw them all over your floor? Like you do at the restaurant? No, that's oh. the best part. You got to keep the ambiance going. I'm going to have a big bowl. Lame. It's not the same. What you need to do, yeah, because you have dogs, they'd probably eat all the shells and get sick and stuff. I can't imagine it's great for them, yeah. Yeah. Would you guys rather What you need is you need to build a treehouse and go eat your peanuts up there. A treehouse would be dope. Would be cool. I've always wanted one as an adult. There's like a really dope one. They've got to have like an epic Airbnb treehouse song. They do. Oh, yeah. I've seen them. I've seen pictures of them. I'd love to rent one. I don't know where the closest one is. Yeah, just live like Tarzan, but like with technology. And when I when I say if I ever say that I'd love to live on an island, that's how I want to live. 
I don't literally want to be like lashing a teepee together. You know what I mean? I just, That'd be tough. I would love to have like, I'd hire a company. Hey, you know what? Fly out here. Come build me a, a nice tree house with all the 21st century amenities. And then, so what's and the then, point? What's like the difference? Swiss family Robinson. And then get the F out so I can be here by myself. <laughs> so, just being in the trees is sick. Just being by yourself, and I think living off the land would be one of the biggest things. But I mean, like, what's the difference between that and just having a house on the ground? The problem is when you're around. In, see, the thing is, internet. The internet's mm -hmm. a big problem. Like, because you could just be like, "Oh yeah, all this drama that's going on in this country, that country, these wars that are like, I'm just chilling out by myself here." No, twelve feet above the ground. That's my. That's what I'm saying. Oh, as opposed to being on the ground. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, oh. Just because it's it's sick. Because it is sick. Yeah. It's just like that. But if you're just gonna have like, a regular like house, just epic. twelve feet higher. Like imagine just like a dope tree house that was just like in the trees, and cool. you had like the little like but, rope like bridges. Yeah, and you gotta make sure bridges. you gotta make sure you you have that like wire that goes down from your bed down the tree to the ground, so you can still be grounded. So like you know, no, yeah, and then like the, <laughs> then the land be. mammals can't get to you, so, except for the ones that can climb trees. So would you like have to bears. Cl climb stairs? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a problem. <laughs> Huh? To get there, or how do you get up to your? Yeah, house? I think you gotta either do a rope climb or something athletic. I feel like you something. Would hate yeah. That. Mm, After if, a if I was, months. dude, if I was, you get if, real strong. If you lived in on an island and you had to like get your own food and all that stuff, you would be jacked. Yeah, but you wouldn't it'd be overeat. So inconvenient, huh? It would be so inconvenient. What if you had to bring something up to your house? You're okay. You're thinking like a Westerner right now. Sure. I already got it. I'm I already got it. Avocados here. I already got it. It's the levy. Three houses. The levy is the levy system. Like a dumb right? waiter. So you get like a little a classic like pulley, okay. right? Just like one one bar and then a rope, and then before you climb up, you have a little basket full of nice things that you'd like. You put it in there. You climb up, and then you just pull it up the lever. I see. And you know what? There's there's things force you, you to can, be innovative. You know, there are some things mechanisms that you can create that have a counterweight. That would make pulling yourself up and down a lot easier. Okay, so let me get this straight. You're gonna have a, you're gonna have a treehouse, mm -hmm. totally. Modern. If we're on a deserted island, but listen, or deserted just, on. Let's an just island. repeat what we deserted said. except for us. A treehouse, fully modern with all technology, but you're gonna pull yourself up. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, because you're you're trying to just limit the number of animals that could potentially get up to you. So if you put a ladder there then like pretty much anything can get up and bother you. But I'm saying you'll pull yourself up to go watch your TV. Yeah. Hey, you got to stay active. <laughs> and then you have and right by <laughs> like, your, why don't you just have an elevator right, right, right under your well, TV. You have like it's a massive, come and fix it. you have a massive bay window under the TV that shows the ocean. I mean, we, I thought of this. <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't understand it. You like kind of want a tree house, yeah, but you, you really just it. want a bougie. But you know, dude, that's the crazy thing is, it's the need same this. thing I I mean, when I used to go, there. like, because we went on vacation every year when I was a kid, right? We would go to Carolina Beach or Orlando or Disney, you know, or I mean, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. what, I always brought my video games, always. Yeah. Like my Sega or N64 or whatever I was playing at the time. And I always hooked it up, like, near the window, and I could just chill, enjoy the view, and play my video games. Like, I just loved doing that. I don't know. Like... I don't know what it is. I always kind of equated like nostalgia to like where I was and like the view that I have and the, well, the atmosphere I'm in. And so it's like, even if I was enjoying something that was like totally unnatural, like video games, I'm still like kind of in that, you know, that, that bridged the gap between <laughs> like I'm where I was, like I'm consistent, like I'm consistent with it. it. Like it's Your not just some story makes sense. No, I get it. Yeah. You gotta have some connection to like nature and creation. Yeah, right. so for some people, that's just having a bougie treehouse. Think about hey. it. Think about it. I still want like a barn dough. I, I, I just, yeah, that would be so cool. A barn? A barn dough. Barn dominium. Oh, a barn dough. It's basically like a big steel, like, they're... Like a living quarters structure. on the second floor type stuff? Well, no, you have a... No, no, no. You, the whole thing's a house. It just looks kind of a barn style. And mm -hmm. like is it steel structure, steel roof or metal roof, you know, whatever. And then you would have, um, and you can like, it's like modular kind of, so you can, you just design it however you want. I'd have like a big hangar, my helicopter, <laughs> and then like have like an area in the middle where I have like a basketball court, multi-purpose, like fun area. Pickleball. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I'm, that, that sounds be. sweet. Sounds very nice. Pickleball. Okay. You think about it, it's really not that hard to like have a pickleball court. You know, as long as you had a way you could cover it if it starts raining and you can still play. And then, or you just have two different courts, one inside, one outside. So I would assume concrete essentially works the same. I mean, does it need to be a tennis like surface? I bet they make balls for concrete. I bet they make like balls that are just for concrete that would have the same characteristics. Yeah, I know it's a, it is a different type of surface. I just don't know what that means, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure if you had like a pickleball expert that was like, "Oh no, it needs to be this and that," and you know, they'd probably have a problem. But I think it's fun. Cause you can tape anything. Like you could just leave tape down on the ground, even if you just had space outside. Like if I had a big enough driveway, I would put a pickleball court in it. Be sweet. Nathan probably could. Probably. Hard part is just getting a flat. I just don't know if Lindsay would let him have lines there all the time, though. I just need that flat surface. Yeah. Is his the is the top of his drive? No, it it kind of leans a, a little bit. Too, yeah. yeah. Anyone else have a flat driveway? No, nope. it's not flat. You could almost fit a court inside his garage, probably. Yeah, but then you have a, a ceiling, which isn't ideal. No one likes the ceiling. Especially Kyle. Yeah, you got to pop it up, you know? Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Mm, interesting. Gab, where are you at with your ankle? <clears throat> it's the last thing I'm going to ask, and then we can end this one. I'm probably close to getting back to it. in again. Sheesh. Man. It's so great. Probably consider it. Does it hurt anymore? Um, Like if I turn it to the side, it'll, it'll hurt. Or like if I walk on it like all day or something, it'll hurt. But Do you wear braces at all right now? When I go play disc golf, yeah. Have you guys been? Mm -hmm. Are you killing I've been it? a couple times, yeah. Are you back to pre ankle situation days? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, pretty normal. Oh, so sweet. We're a little, little rusty because we haven't been going, but solid drives this past week. Ripping it, yeah. Oh, man, it's got that Thunderbird. We're thinking about now. we're thinking about going tomorrow. What's your work schedule look like? Tomorrow? I am actually home tomorrow. Mm. Uh, Christina has the car, so I'm. Just gonna work from home. I mean, I feel bad. I keep having Justin bring me, <laughs> but it's all right. Chauffeur. It's all right. He's good. You discin tomorrow, Luke? You discin? What's today? Thursday. Thursday, the sixteenth. <laughs> I thought Just we were cover all the bases tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know about Tomorrow's, those plans. Oh wow, the seventeenth. It's like we got a conflict here. I should be talked into it. It's a rock, paper, scissors. We'll talk you into it tomorrow. Noted. That's great. If we, yeah, we need, we just need another, I just think about it. Yeah, let's, let's just build a pickleball court somewhere. I rip this. And an office. We're talking about more bets. Scott. All right, everybody. We'll end it. Bing, 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 we'll bing. end it. Man, it's got some pretty good juice. It's good being back with everybody. Just stalled out there a little bit at the end. Regular sports books. But we will see you when we see you. A lot of juice. Later, later. Bye.